Their Xbox community split over exclusive games going multi-platform. I think most PlayStation fans just learned at this point that's like, this is what Sony does. They're not going to coddle you. They're not going to pamper you and, and, and try to like finesse you. They're just going to give it to you straight. Sir, come with me. For what? I didn't even do anything. You're sus. Franchises like, you know, that belongs to Bethesda and belongs to Activision. Yeah, all that crap is gonna go to freaking PlayStation. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're wondering, I already know. If you thought it, I've been new. A basura. A la maldita basura que va a PlayStation. La maldita consola. Fuck you, Phil Spencer. Fuck you. Y ahora en adelante, lo mío es PlayStation. One hour later. And there's false gum, coach. Just a local idiot. They said, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it burn. Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Demo Flow Gaming Show where I share my passion for gaming and I keep you posted about everything that's going on within the Xbox ecosystem and the gaming industry. So let's break the ice. Four games are going to Sony PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. We already knew this for a long time, but we are still seeing these crazy reactions online as if this was something new. Now that I had some time to lay back and think about the whole situation and the effect that this will have on Xbox. I'm personally not affected by this as I play some of these games, but to be honest, they're small double A games. Sea of Thieves is almost 10 years old. I can't think of anybody who was capping for Pentiment. Matter of fact, it was critically acclaimed, but some of us, some of the Xbox players didn't even care about this game. The other game that's going to Sony PlayStation and Nintendo Switch is Grounded. Think about it, you guys. Grounded was developed by only 10 developers, and it turned out to be really good at the end. It's just so weird that people act like we're not going to be able to access these games anymore throughout Xbox. When in fact, we've been able to access these games for years. And we know that Sony PlayStation fanboys have been begging for Xbox games for a long time. because games like Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves and even Grounder are on high demand, especially on Sony PlayStation since they don't have any multiplayer games but the usual Apex Legends and Call of Duty. The Sea of Thieves official page was basically like, stop poor begging for Sea of Thieves, here you go. So my takeaway from this situation is that Xbox games are on high demand and you can see this online because what everybody's talking about is Xbox. No one cares what's going on at Sony PlayStation, all eyes on Xbox like two pack. In my opinion, Sony PlayStation fanboys are utilizing this situation for console war ammunition. But at the end of the day, this only exposed Sony PlayStation for having no games and being dependent on Xbox. Not to mention that we're still getting the better value day one on Game Pass. While Sony ponies had to pay full price for these games. Not only that, the DLC that comes with these games, like all the DLC in CLTs, is probably not gonna be free like it was for us. It's gonna probably be behind the paywall and like i always said on this channel pony money is still money so basically sony playstation fanboys are getting our leftovers that we played years ago for full price and xbox is gonna use all this revenue and profit to fund sequels for this game to add more content to xbox and content that we're gonna play day one on xbox while sony playstation fanboys have to wait for our leftovers like street dogs they're gonna have to pour back for years in order to get something out of xbox so don't listen to these ponies 
because there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes at sony playstation like losing 10 billion dollars of market value no first party games for 18 months all their games are gonna eventually release day one on pc and mobile and other platforms chances are that sony playstation see xbox do good on their platform and they might want to bring some of the games to xbox as well sony playstation needs the money more than microsoft and xbox because their profits are at an all-time low because hardware is not selling like it used to sony playstation house is on fire but well let's talk about xbox xbox is the one dying for putting four old ass games on playstation a lot of people are gonna start seeing the better deal and eventually join either pc or xbox game pass which at the end all this money will come to the xbox ecosystem so if you're playing on the xbox console don't feel bad xbox is not going anywhere the future of xbox looks way better than sony playstation and that's a fact you guys thank you for watching hit the like button and subscribe for more fire xbox ecosystem videos i'm gonna be live this friday at 11 a.m eastern time so come through hang out with me we had a great couple of shows so it'll be nice to have you here with me sharing our gaming and getting into the conversation of how the gaming industry is changing and nobody no one will be able to stop the progress it's your boy demo flow checking out